are at NBC um, Grill and Brew. This is at City Walk at Universal. It is spring break week. It is busy here, so we are not going to a park. We just wanted to check this out because they have a Beyond Burger that's new on the menu. It's finally something that's vegan here. Um, before you had to just get like plain pasta or something lame. So now they have an option. So we're excited to check it out. You have barbecue jackfruit, that's vegan American cheese, uh, onions, lettuce, I don't think it has a mayo or anything, but you do get barbecue sauce, and obviously ketchup for your fries here. I have no idea how I am going to eat this. This is a big boy. All right, wish me luck. The burger has like a perfect char to it. It like you you bite into it and it's I mean you can kind of see it's charred, it's crispy. The bun's a little hard, so it was a little hard to get through. Um but first bite of impression is very good. The char is awesome on this. Really good. I don't really notice the onions at all. I'm gonna take it two bites. I love they're like partially caramelized onions. I don't really notice any flavor for them. It's really good, I'm gonna get the fries are good too. Nice and salty. And the jackfruit by itself is really good. I added more barbecue sauce to it. It's kind of dry. Not in a bad way, but like needed something else. But no, it's really good. It has a nice char to it. The lettuce got kind of weird on my, like, oh, yeah. I don't really add much to it. No, it's really good. I would come back for this, for sure. It's good. The char on the burger was awesome. I actually bit into it and had like a little crunch to it. Not overcooked. So this is the way you should do a Beyond Burger. They didn't lazily just throw a Beyond Burger on the menu and microwave it and weird hockey puck. Uh, the caramelized onions, I don't really think are needed at all because I didn't really taste them or even texture wise. The jackfruit, Texture-wise, I had bites of that, but I added the barbecue sauce to it, so it was just like barbecue-y overall. And then my lettuce on the bottom got weird. I had a bite where like half of the leaf of lettuce came up and it was like an into one bite and it was warm, so that wasn't pleasant. Maybe like a different type of lettuce, other than the bib lettuce. The fries were awesome. I would come back for this, for sure. Uh, I was telling Corey earlier that it's like, um, this is how you should do a Beyond Burger. Like so many places, they're just like, yeah, we have a Beyond Burger. And then it's just like lettuce and tomato and that's it. And sometimes they have vegan cheese and that, you know, like that's exciting. This is really good. Um, Corey did note on the, uh, 
the jackfruit and the onions, like I didn't really notice them when I was eating, which is fine because I don't usually love jackfruit. Uh, but as a whole, it wasn't like, like bite into it and you're like, wow, that's super jackfruity. Like I never, it was just like, it was barbecue-y and that was fine. I wish they had a mayo, but that's just personal preference on that one. Um, but it was really good. I know I will definitely be back here again because the burger was cooked perfectly. The fries were really good. They apparently also have tater tots because the guy, our server asked if we wanted um, tater tots or fries. So, but the french fries were really good. Um, but we did have a reservation. We did try to come here the other night. Granted, it is spring break week. And what, how long was the wait? An hour and a half? Yeah. Um, and so we, we made a reservation when we came today, which we did not need one because this restaurant is empty, but it is what it is. It was very good and we'll definitely be back here. So the Universal store is getting moved. They basically have been creating this huge area for the Universal store. So they actually turned the old one into the Legacy store. So I just want to show you guys some of the cool props and stuff that they have hiding in there.